Yo, what is going on, guys? It is Cannibal Crab back with another episode of Crazy Craft 4. Um, I know last episode, guys, I said I was going to do two subs of the day because I forgot in the episode. I know, my bad. Um, oh, you, you can kind of see it. it's a TIE Fighter. Uh, anyways, <laughs> let's introduce the first sub build of the day. Now, guys, remember, I'm still trapped in that dimension, so we are not starting off the episode in this particular area. Once we're done with the subs of the day, we are going to go re-trap ourselves in that dimension and then figure out that from there. So let's introduce the first one. It is a gravestone. It very much fits the aesthetic of uh, the castle and the vampire kind of vibe, so I like it. And the sub of the day is Nathaniel Rebrannon. Welcome to the squad. I didn't want to put you on the grave because uh, I'm pretty much, I'm pretty sure you are very much alive, sir. So I'm not putting you, uh, your name anywhere near the grave. But anyways, it has a big old rip on it and nothing really in the back. It's just a pretty cool graveyard. I'm gonna start expanding this island so we can have more uh, stuff. I might even make like a giant spiral staircase going all the way down. I think that'll look pretty crazy. All right, so welcome to the squad, Nathaniel. I hope you like your uh, gravestone. And then let's move on to the second sub of the day, which is the don. It is a tie fighter from the very aptly named Stormtrooper 333. It was a good idea. I liked the build. I thought it was really neat just to do that up real quick right next to the monkey's butt. Um, so, anyways, welcome to the squad, Stormtrooper. I hope you enjoy your stay on the TIE Fighter. You are very much immortalized in the series now, and uh, maybe I'll add some lasers shooting off into the hammer. I think that'll be pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, guys, let's get into this episode. As you know, I am stuck in the crazy ant dimension. Do I find myself a way out? Find out right now. What? By the way, why is my boy's hat destroyed? I'm going to have to uh, fix that snowman. And I actually want to put arms holding up the island, too. That would be pretty cool. Now, back into the real episode. And as you guys can tell, yes, I am still very much stuck in this random dimension. I don't even know what it's called anymore, but we got to get out of here. We got to get out of here because, uh, guys, it is time to finally put together the Big Bertha sword. As soon as I put that sword together, I'm, I'm going to need better armor, but... I will be unkillable. I will be able to one-shot most things with this gigantic sword that I've never made before in a survival series. I think I had it from that snow madness, but I don't think I, I think I got rid of it. I'm pretty sure. Or was it the axe? I can't really remember. Um, anyways, let's move on now. Oh yeah, it was the queen scale battle axe that I had. Now, uh, I've thought of a few ways to get out of here. I've already slash killed... Um, and uh, you, you just respawn in the same dimension, and it's been driving me crazy. Um, uh, I, obviously, you can't spawn, you can't teleport anywhere. Uh, bed slash home doesn't work. Nothing is escaping from this dimension. So I think I gotta run around now and find a random nether portal. And once we're back, I think Kraken Kid is ready to receive my gift of the rainbow. And I think this is the red ant nest. Uh, one of them was the red ant nest. I'm pretty sure. As you know what time it is. It's time to make... Well, I was gonna get on top of the tree and make an epic speech. But it is time to make the Big Bertha Sword. Let's get back to my vampire base. And let's begin the making of the strongest survival sword I can currently make. I don't know if it's the strongest yet. You guys will have to tell me what the strongest weapon in the game. It might be the Queen Scale Battle Axe, which we destroyed. So, that kind of sucks. Anyways, to the base! Ooh! Man, it never felt so good to be home. And it's nighttime, too. That was a long journey. Let's go back. Ah! Oh, didn't take too much fall damage. Man, I am fast. That's got to be glitched. I, don't, I'm, I'm, I know I'm not that fast. There we go. That's normal speed. <laughs> Sorry, I was probably uh, building with the speed on the maximum setting. But anyways, we are back. Let's grab this T-Rex tooth. Oh, God, I should probably organize first. Um, but let's just make sure we have all the items here, the ore spawn stuff. We have the T-Rex tooth now. And that, I mean, that's looking like it, right? That's the Big Bertha sword recipe. Let's go ahead and let's just double check. We got the Big Bertha right there. Uh, the Big Bertha blade. Yeah, so it's six things and then the vortex eye. What are we missing right here? Are we missing any of oh, the green goo, right? Is that it? No. The ultimate sword. Ah, oh, the ultimate sword's right here. Perfect. All right. So there's the recipe now. Yes. We have everything. Except these are backwards. Okay, there is the recipe, guys. Oh my god, I'm so excited, but I need to organize my inventory. I just want to make the sword, but just give me a second because all my bags, all my book bags and stuff are full. I could just all throw it in here. Uh, yeah, that'll be pretty good. Just throw all this stuff. I'll organize that later. We need to get to sword making as fast as possible. 
And we need to keep these ant nests in here because we need to go to see Kraken in a little bit and give him his special reward. Well, surprise, I guess. Not really a reward. <laughs> Last backpack full or uh, empty. There we go. Woo! Now, it's time. Let's grab the, the ore spawn stuff. We gotta get some epic music going. Dun 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 It's time to make the Big Brother Sword. Alright, into the crafting table we go. The Vortex Eye. We obtained. The Worm Tooth. We randomly got. The Kraken Tooth. I believe we randomly got from, like, the scrambled crap. T-Rex Tooth. We just got. Caterpillar Jaws. We murdered. Ultimate Sword. We got from a snow block, I'm pretty sure. There it is. The big part of sword. Holy crap! It's heavy. I, I'd, I'd imagine it'd be pretty heavy. Um, okay, so let's grab the two other parts, guys. Am I the first person on the server to have a big birth of sword? Let me know in the comments. If I'm not, that kind of sucks. But I at least I got the uh, the queen scale battle axe first before everyone, uh, albeit a bit randomly. All right, there we go. In four, we are forging this in the heart of fire, aka a crafting table. I wish it was like a little bit more epic to craft. It's just like putting the recipes in order. Um, but anyways, Big Bertha 500 attack damage. Good googly moogly. I think not even the battle skill axe had more than that. Maybe the battle skill axe was like 600. Look at that. Knockback or five. Bane of Anthropods one and fire aspect one. Let's take a look, guys. Let's wield it. Let's get on top of this present. Da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Holy crap, that was longer than I thought it was. Holy crap, look at the size of this thing. That's what she said. <laughs> this is going to chop the head instantly off of any mob that dare b b kneels before me and asks for mercy. Never. Not in this vampire world. Bah! I want to go test it. I want to go test it. Let's test it on this fairy. I'm pretty sure, I mean, I can one-shot any uh, the, the fairy with anything, but let's test out the big birth of sword. Good God. This thing is so giant in my hand. Boom! <laughs> One shot. All right, let's fly down. Maybe we can test it out on some mobs that are spawned down below. It is night nighttime, so uh, the hostile mobs are spawning below. Hopefully. Let's jump down. Oh, God. I might miss the water. Ah! Oh, we made it to the water. Okay. Yeah, that's another thing, guys. We got we to gotta work on our... Uh, our flight and stuff. We are, we are not very mobile. We we take a lot of damage and we do a lot of damage, but we are so slow. We don't even have a way to fly. I think Kraken said he had a way to fly. Uh, we did see him flying earlier, but that might have been creative mode. Alright, let's see. Huh. I thought that was the aggressive mob. Where are the mobs at? Show yourself! As soon as I made the big birth of sword, they're probably like, nope! I'm never coming near that guy's face ever again. They saw that giant thing out, out the window or something. All right. Let's test it on a creeper. Creepers do have a lot of health. They have 145 health. That's nothing compared to 500 damage. Boom! Oh. We also got a creeper heart. That's pretty interesting. Um, maybe we'll have to get into some witchery. I got that, that vampire book I still need to read. Look how jacky. I look pretty sick. I ain't gonna lie. I look pretty dope. All right, I want to try to find like a big, uh, big bad boy that like I can't one shot with any other weapon, but maybe the Big Bertha, or like a boss or something. Let me travel around a little bit, see if I can find a, a proper mob to test this Big Bertha sword on. Which leads me once more to the Tower of Destruction. I come here so much; it's basically my second house. All right, oh, I need to uh, let's go ahead and get some logs though. Uh, let's chop down this tree. Dark oak wood doesn't work, I believe. Come on, chop the entire tree down. Dang it, it's not working. All right, and it's lagging a little bit. Let's go ahead and... Oh, there it goes. Yeah, we got some leaves, literally. Uh, let's put that right there. Oak leaves. And now we can climb up on this tower. Yeah, there we go. All right. <sighs> Is this thing going to one-shot every boss inside of this death tower? Look at that. All the... Oh, God, I, I hate those things. <laughs> I don't want to fight those things. Those things just kind of like... They knock you back and kill you on the tower. All right, so this is the very bottom. So if there's any armor in this chest, we might as well check. Eh. Nope, looks like nothing else. Let's go up. Oh, we got to eat. Crap, I only have an apple. Apple's going to have to do today. And let's try to uh, spawn in some of these monsters. There's the circular looking monsters. And there should be some oh, some bees. Okay, I wasn't able to one-shot the bees before. But let's go see. Let's go ahead and see if I can do it now. 
All right, do your worst. They don't even spawn near the Big Bertha. They're just like, nah, I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna stay inside my spawner. I'm never gonna ever come in range of that Big Bertha. Come, oh, there's one. Come on, boom. Oh, I did not have the Big Bertha. Sword. Bow. Woo -hoo -hoo. Let's go. Let's go. Can I kill the mantis in one hit? Oh my God, it kills him in one hit. Get wrecked. Come on, come on. Rah. Woo! Look at all that. We have pretty much infinite diamonds now. Oh my god, and mantis claws are really cool. Those things are kind of crappy. Uh, let's go up one more level. The harder mobs are actually above, surprisingly, I think. Uh, oh, there they are. There's the mantis spawners. And, oh, there's a jack-o'-lantern over there. Oh, we didn't really check this, right? Ooh, creeper repellents. Heck yeah, I'll take that. Looks like there's something in here, too. I can't break it because I don't have the hammer anymore, but... Oh, freaking ray gun again! We got Kraken Repellent, which is pretty cool. Ooh, what is that? Oh my god, no, don't do it. Spawn Magic Apple Cow? Why would I not want to spawn a Magic Apple Cow? <gasps> a Thunder Staff. Fortune 2? Magic Apple? What the heck? What is a, what is a Thunder Staff? <gasps> it's the Beetle! Let's see if I can one-shot this thing with the Big Bertha Sword. Come here! Urgh! Oh, it just did half his health! Urgh! Tell me that's the hammer. I think that's the attitude adjuster. What is this? What is it? Oh, oh God. Uh, yes. No, that's the big hammer. Okay. I thought it was the attitude adjuster for a second. I mean, can we just sit here and farm these things for, uh, for boss items? I mean, let's see. Ow! I'll have to get more food. Oh, Jesus! I'll have to obviously get more food, but if I can just keep getting big hammers like this, I should have brought a book bag because these mana claws don't stack, which is kind of dumb if you ask me. I just won't shot that guy! I created him! Hercules Beetle is no match for the might of vampire crap! Whoa! This is, uh, this is insane. This is a little low peak, I'm not gonna lie, but I earned it this time, you know? I got it legitimately. I didn't just get the, the sword randomly from a, a block or something. Uh, let's throw it. We don't, man, the big hammers, we don't need any of this, I don't think. Uh, what does this apple do? Let's eat it. Uh, it doesn't do anything. Fantastic. It doesn't do anything. What is this diamond helmet? Look at all these big hammers on the ground. What the heck's going on? Let's throw that away. Yeah, they're just big hammers. We don't need them. So I wonder if we... I wish I could eat it. Well, I got raw pork. Um, I guess we can just go ahead and get that... <laughs> get our health back to f at least a little bit of running speed. Okay, Mantis. There's a lot of them. Holy crap. It doesn't matter, though. Big Bertha Sword! <laughs> Get annihilated! Oh. Okay, let's go up a level. Is there, is there... Oh, the butterflies. Mothra's dead in one hit! <gasps> ah, little butterflies! Let's go up one more level. What? What is this? What is that? A moth scale. Oh, okay. Maybe you can make some moth armor out of that. So if we can farm like Mothra... Because that thing was incredibly easy to kill right there. If we can just far, uh, farm Mothra, that'd be kind of cool. Alright, up and up and up and up. We get to the next level. I believe are just Mothras. Yep. Woo! Holy crap. You see all the loot that this thing dropped? What the world? Mothra. Did I get more scales? Yes, two more scales. Kind of just want to sit here and farm these things now. Huh, huh. Come on. Show yourself, Mothra. Spawn like ten of them. Let's get out of here, though. I think we should go back down. Ugh. Oh god, that was a lot. That was a lot further than I thought. Ooh, look at all these scales. Grab the scales. I hope we can make armor out of this. And okay, looks like we are good. There's some more over here. Moth scales, baby. Oh, 22 of them. That I mean, if we can make armor, let's see. I think we gotta hit you one. Oh, I mean, kind of. Those are not like the super good ones, right? Um, anyways, let's go back to base. Let's try to uh, let's try to craft these moth scales armor uh, because that'll probably replace the witch hunter coat and the ruby leggings for show. So we gotta hit J, waypoint, uh, home base area. There we go. All right, we are back. Now let's quickly throw all the things. Let's move this into our one slot, and there we go. We have our setup. Look at all this random crap in that, in that book bag. Okay, okay. So the moth scale. Let's go ahead and get a chest plate. Let's see if it's the enchanted version. <gasps> yes, this is actually pretty good. Nice. Moth scale. We have full moth scale now because of that. Nice. So now we have the armor to back it up as long as, as with the damage of the Big Bertha Sword. We are 
tanky. Look at that. We are beasts now. Let's go. Now, I think what I want to work towards now is obviously a ranged weapon and a way to fly. And Co I think Cody added the um, the one where you can build your own kind of ship and like fly it around or something. So that's pretty. In Wait, I gotta I gotta test out this thunder staff as well. Um, that's pretty interesting. If we can make like a little bat mobile that like flies around, that would be funny. All right, thunder staff. Ha! So, all right. I mean, it does exactly what I thought it was would do. Just has thunder. Uh, it's kind of a cool ranged weapon. Smites the enemy, but I don't think smiting and lightning does that much damage compared to these mobs because these mobs have. Like, what is this? What is a challenge scroll? Tragic MC challenge. And it, right click to start a challenge. Oh boy. Who wants to do a challenge? I know I do. Let's get this butter candy, actually. We are pretty hungry and in, in, in the need of food. So let's throw everything quickly into these chests. Uh, yep, yep. Diamond pickaxe. Unbreaking five and fortune four. That's a pretty good pickaxe right there, god dang. But I think the, uh, yeah, the uh, ultimate pickaxe is definitely better. All right, so let's do, let's see what this challenge is. Let's go ahead and eat some butter candy, and let's get this thing a pop. And there we go, full health. Should we do it in our base? Probably not. We should probably go down to the uh, the ground base here. Let's just go to uh, home base ground. There we go. All right, challenge scroll activated. What did it, what did it do? Challenge, wear diamond armor. Difficulty hard, wear a full set of diamond armor. So this is like runescape clues. You gotta do like little separate things. That is really cool. I mean, we got plenty of diamond armor. Let's just go back up to the, uh, the thing here. Home base air. Let's get the diamonds. If we have enough anyway, we should have enough, right? Oh yeah, we definitely have enough. Let's make a full set of diamond armor just because of the challenge. I'm probably gonna get rid of it after. Uh, some diamond boots, and the last thing is a helmet bop. I hate to take off my really OP cool looking armor, but you know, we gotta do it for the challenge. Bop, 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 bop. But let's go ahead and get this diamond armor out of us, or off of us. Uh, oh, we should put it obviously in the armor chest. There's the diamond. See, we're organized, you know, we got the armor chest over here. Um, there we go, boom. Man, if I can get a flash suit, that'd be kind of crazy. I have the iron boot with the Iron Man boots somewhere in here. Uh, but if we can get like a full set of arm, there it is. Look at that. Iron Man Mark 7 boots. I think it's going to be insane if we can get the entire set. Then we can definitely just fly around. We don't really need a vehicle. All right. So I think the last thing we got to do is we got to go to Kraken Space. And we got to, oh, where's the rainbow ant? I th he's probably got rainbow ants already, but... Um, let's just make sure we have the rainbow ant somewhere. Where did I put the rainbow ant? There it is. All right, let's go to Kraken's base. Let's say hi to him, and let's give him all his ants, and then hopefully we can get our axe back. I want that axe. Oh, no, he said that Cody had it. Ah, crap. Anyways, let's go ahead and go over to Kraken's base. Actually, probably just TP right to him. There we go. Let's see. Huh. Kraken kid. Uh, uh, what are you doing here? Behind you, behind you, behind you. Behind you. Spider, spider. I just wanted to show you something. That's a mighty nice sword you got there. I know, right? Boom! Are you jealous? My You're big birthday sword. Really? What? <laughs> Don't you have the big birthday sword too? I thought you were working on it. Go away. Hey, wait! I got something for you. I said, in exchange for letting me use your ant dimension, I would get you the red ant, and I have it. No, I had the red ant. I wanted the brown ant. Oh, I, well, the brown ant. I think this is. I think this is the brown ant. You borrowed my red ant. Right. Okay. My memory. Okay. It's it's a little bad. Is that the one? I also have the rainbow and the unstable. I'm just gonna go cry myself to sleep now. <laughs> okay. Well, it's good. I feel like I'm making your day. So goodbye. And by the way, make the big Bertha sword. It's epic. <laughs> well, uh, he definitely owes me something for getting all those anthills for him. Let's go ahead and save the rest that we got. Oh, what is this? Fortune. Yeah, that's the pickaxe. Okay. Ooh, unbreaking. Man, these diamond armors are so good, but I got, like, the Mothra scale helmet. It doesn't matter. Oh, I got Mobzilla scale boots. I forgot about that. Jesus. All right. That was a pretty productive day. Now, what we're going to work on is we need to decide what I want to make for a flying vehicle with the Archimedes ship mod, I think it's called. Something like that. Um, if you guys have, oh my God, what if I just use the TIE Fighter? That's actually be a big idea, big idea. If you guys want me to make the TIE Fighter into the flying ship, 
with Archimedes ships or uh, like have a flying bat or a flying crab would be hilarious actually <laughs> too. Let me know in the comments what, what vehicle I should make next episode. I think that's what we'll be doing. Uh, and then we'll be also probably trying to work towards a range weapon with the HBM's nuclear tech. So, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We finally got the big Bartha sword, guys. We are on the top of the server's food chain now. We could take on anyone and anything. If anyone challenges us, we could put them, strike them down with the big Bartha sword, and it'll be over. And our base is probably looking the sickest. So, all around, we're doing a good job. Anyways. It's time to advance into something else next episode. So I'll catch you there. And this is Kettle Crab signing out. You guys have a great day.